We're gonna do this, scrape our hands. Touch the, Touch the ground, butt down, chest up, looking up. You're gonna walk the whole way to half court. Jog the rest, ready. Courage, above all things, is the first quality of a warrior. Former University of Hawaii football standout Brad Kalilimoku not only understands this, but instills this quality in the younger generation. Just a few years after making his impact on Hawaii, Brad now calls Las Vegas his new home. Since moving from the islands less than a year ago, he still continues to make a huge impact on the field, only this time in a different way. Kalili Moku is now the force behind a new clinic in Las Vegas called XAI. All right, XAI is a, it stands for um, Exploding Accelerator Institute. The thing that I'm trying to do out here is like back home we had speed camps where um, kids come on the weekends and they do other things besides like play video games, watch movies, do things that could be more productive, which is hopefully this could be more productive for their lives. And just stay out of trouble is the main thing. And also in the program, like we teach them how to run like properly and we teach them proper technique and form and stuff. Teaching the athletes the correct way to run, build speed and acceleration, and playing as a team are just some of the things taught at the clinic. And as Brad mentioned, it's not only for football players. They can use for like all their sports. It doesn't have to be only football. It could be baseball, basketball, whatever it is. It's just about being an athlete. Amanda Delgado, an upcoming senior at Liberty High School, was a big part of the Lady Patriots winning the Sunrise Championships and making it to the semifinal of the state tournament in her junior season. We uh, won, we went 13-1 during the regular season, then we came to the region and won our games to play the last one and won the Sunrise. Clinics like XAI are important to her development as an athlete. Uh, just work hard, play hard, and leave everything out like you love the sport. When asked why he was participating at the XAI clinic, Liberty High School upcoming sophomore running back Nico Capelli said, Work on my speed and my footwork as running. Mm -hmm. Nico had an outstanding freshman year, putting up nearly 900 total yards of offense and five touchdowns. Still, with early success, he understands there's so much more to learn both on and off the field, and that's why he continues to strive. What are you doing to prepare yourself for next season, for your sophomore season? Just lift and try and work better and get stronger. Um, it's held at Liberty High School every um, Saturday. 8 to 9.30 is the little kids camp. The ages is um, 8 to 13. For the registration, it starts at 7.30 to 8. For um, the high school kids, the registration is from 9 to 9.30, and then their camp starts from 9.30 to 11, so both of the camps are hour and a half each. So you're doing it just uh, during the spring and summer, or I mean, is it an ongoing thing? Like right now, it's just for um, off-season of football, so it could be like this time right now and then the summertime. Brad isn't the only ex-warrior giving back to XAI. I got my brother, Chad Kalilimoku. He was a linebacker recently, too, um, at UH, and uh, we have Chad Kapanui also. He was another linebacker, so... We have like collegiate athletes who, who's been there and done that, you know, so it's good for these kids who are trying to get to that level to have mentors such as those who did those things. XAI is a weekly clinic that's open to all youth athletes in Las Vegas. In closing, I asked Kalili Moku if there was still personal desire to play at the next level. Well, I'm still staying like in shape and doing those things. I mean, I strongly do still have a desire, but... My desire like right now is to help out these kids and especially like I have certain kids that I'm helping out over time just for them to play ball at the collegiate level that I've been to. So those kids are priority first. I don't know just the way I am. I'm used to like giving back to kids and community and stuff like that because I've been one of those kids. One thing's for sure, no matter what path Brad Kalilimoku is led to, expect him to explode and accelerate to the forefront. I'm Pu'ukani reporting for Pipeline to Paradise TV.